everyone welcome back to bohemian crafting channel it's eva here and first before i will start to create something i would like to say huge thanks to margaret from seven plaza for shout out of my channel and to support me now when uh, i'm kind of like limited with movement with craft uh, as i am uh, recovering from broken leg uh, thank you so much margaret that was amazing and you just made my day, girl. Really, it was very kind of you to make a shout out of my channel. And thanks to all of you who came, actually, and who are willing to support me right now. When, uh, uh, yeah, till till I will be on back on my feet again. So thanks, guys. It means so much to me, so much. So uh, I'm coming with another craft from bed. Today it will be with a little bit more supplies. Uh, I do have here six by six paper uh, papers. I do have few paper pads with six by six uh, size in a six by six size, and I do have so many papers, coffee dyed, tea dyed, beautiful six by six papers. And today I'm coming to share with you how you can create these cute envelopes out of the six by six they do have also closure and they are a little bit dimensional i'm gonna pull it out and show you envelope as you can see it does have those sides to make it a little bit more dimensional so you can actually store quite a lot in this cute little envelope i believe uh, depends on design of the paper oh this is not glued yet together so it depends on the design of the paper you will choose you can create envelopes for halloween for christmas for maybe easter you can create uh, envelopes for uh, now is coming in america thanksgiving so many occasions and you can add there some a little gift and it's made from six by six so what i did used i did used my scoring board if you don't have scoring board just used a ruler and some scoring tool i'm gonna also be using ruler pen cutting knife scissors and then for creating the window in my in my paper i did use this beautiful uh, paper punch uh, i found it on amazon this is from woodware uh, i will try to have a look on the link if i will still uh, find a workable link where from i've got this one but i do have it probably for a year maybe two years so i'm not sure uh, i will try if i will find a link it will be in that description box below but any kind of tack paper punch will do uh, this is in the size one and three quarter of inch in the width that's what uh, makes this window here and of course the glue i'm using pva glue in this bottle that was for creating the envelope and for decorating i do have here my old uh, postmarks album so i'm using postmarks which i do have stored in my little album i found it on a cardboard mar market here in uh in Rodrem. then i do have here stamps i do have these three stamp collections from stampers anonymous i love them all they are wonderful especially for journal makers because they give you so many options for vintage journal makers special especially because they do have such a beautiful designs as you can see here they are all from tim holtz and they are all so gorgeous this is that latest one and it's really beautiful so i'm gonna be using these stamps i do have here distress ink this is from spectrum noir finacy line and this, this is a rustic brown i like that color very very much for stamping i do have here a red uh, red ink this is just normal uh, office ink pad which i found on amazon and then i do have for black stamping with i mean for stamping with black color i do have here this ranger archival ink jet black and of course acrylic block 
for holding my stamps while stamping. That's probably all supplies. Yeah, and I forgot for creating windows, or I mean for windows part. I do have here an old uh, acetate bag. As you can see, I already used that for these windows. And for creating the, for putting the window in my envelopes, I am using double-sided tape. So that's all supplies you will need to create these cute little envelopes. And now I'm going to show you how you can create them. First, you will need to score your paper. So as I said, I'm going to be working with 6x6. Six six. I'm going to grab one paper. Place it on my scoring board. And I'm going to score 3 eighths of inch, 3 quarter of inch. Flip it on that opposite side and score exactly the same. 3 eighths of inch and 3 quarter of inch. Then I'm going to flip it this way where my already made score lines are here and here and I'm gonna score two and a half and five and one eight five and one eight so I do have all my score lines you will flip it over and you will see your score lines this will be flap of the envelope this will be space where I will cut the window here and this is back of my envelope. So now I'm gonna grab the scissors and I'm gonna actually cut the piece into my envelope template so you can watch that here. Here I do have that flap of the envelope. Here in this score line we are gonna cut notch here. And notch here. Where the score line is. Then I'm going to cut these two last pieces. And I'm going to save them. They are perfect for creating decoration. So... These two are perfect for creating decoration like this and this. Now here I'm going to cut off both of these corners. So here where our score lines, I'm going a little bit in the angle. And this is I'm cutting straight with the score line. So I do have this now. I'm gonna also cut the corners here on that flap just a slightly in the angle. Just the top of those corners. And now cutting the window here. This one. As I said, I'm going to be using this uh, paper punch to make sure I can slide the paper in the end of my paper punch till the kind of like this position. I need to fold these sides. So I'm going to fold it this way and fold this one as well to make sure I'm not going to be on the way to paper punch. And I'm going to try to slide my paper till the end somehow like this yeah till the end so it's sitting here on the end now here i'm gonna try also manage these two score lines to have with the same gaps here and here with these two lines and that way I will manage to have window kind of in the middle of my envelope. I think this way it looks like I'm okay. 
okay make sure that it's pushed to the end here some kind of like pressing and punch hopefully i am on the right spot carefully on slide it i'm gonna save this for my closure now i'm gonna do same on that opposite side fold it all carefully slide this into my paper punch carefully and now i'm gonna try to manage to match this here and again make sure that it's slide to the end to the bottom and punch and again carefully slide it out and why i folded these these will make dimension so do not leave it fold it like this because the paper punch will actually punch also this paper and you will don't have dimension later in your envelope so if you will fold it this way you are able to punch the window right next to your folds here you have these two first what i'm gonna do i'm gonna glue inside my window so i'm gonna get a acetate back any kind of old acetate back will be perfect as you can see here i do have leftover of from acetate back i do have already double-sided tape here on this side so i'm gonna place that acetate back with the fold here i'm gonna fold it so you will see with the fold here and with the fold here I'm gonna take my double sided tape and put double sided tape here and here. Kind of managing to know how far I should cut, and here, obviously, with my scissors. So now I know I should cut around that tape and I will have exact piece for my window. Like this. Now I'm going to take off this back paper from my double sided tape and place that acetate piece over the window. Now here it depends uh, how I would like to see it. Sometimes, you know, I like more the uh, tea dyed paper, so I will place it this way and I will have that tea dyeing on the top. Sometimes I like more the design, so I will keep the design on the top and I will place the tea dyeing inside. But this one, I actually like the tea dyeing, so I'm gonna keep tea dyeing on the top and I'm gonna keep uh, the colored paper inside. That's why I'm gonna place my acetate sheet on that colored page just to make sure I'm not going over the score lines and I'm keeping around that window. gonna fold all these folds I'm gonna fold it this way and fold it this way just to have a look if I do have it straight now I do have here this and this the tuck and the extra piece I can either use my scoring board or I, or I can fold it by hand uh, I wanna have here where is my envelope? There are my envelopes. Actually, here is that envelope. Here you can see that the end of my tag, I want to have a little bit over the edge of this frame. So I can either fold it by hand 
or your scoring board, I will say half and half inch will be perfect for this. Gonna have a look. Oh yes, like this. And I can even place it this way. Or here I can maybe place it the opposite way, you know, like this. So I can always change it and I can have it this way. I think I will actually have it this way. Yeah, the opposite way then it's here. Here I do have design on the top and tea dyed paper inside. So the tag I glued opposite way that I do have the design inside, you know same is here that I do have design in there but on this one I will actually like to see design here so I'm gonna slide my folded piece right here where I wanna see it I think somewhere here I'm gonna grab the glue put the glue and fold this over glue it together so i do have it glued here now i'm gonna flip it over open my envelope and i'm gonna put the glue on that rest and i'm gonna glue this down and i'm gonna grab this uh, kind of like left over and here I can place it this way or the opposite way and I think I'm gonna actually keep the pattern here so I'm gonna place it this way I'm gonna add there a little bit of glue and glue it here This is more like reinforcement. Now I'm gonna cut off these extras. So I do have a base for closure. I'm gonna close that envelope, make sure that it's folded the way I wanna glue it later. So here I think I'm gonna slightly move it. So for making closure, I'm gonna close that envelope. gonna grab the pencil or pen and here where is end of the envelope flap I'm gonna make a marks on the sides of the tuck here and here I'm gonna unfold it take the ruler and knife and cut the entry from the dot to dot just gonna cut the entry I do have little slot cut it. And this can be slide inside. Like this. So now I do have prepared my envelope. I can glue it all together. So I'm gonna make these side folds. Place the glue on them. Have this fold it down and close my envelope like this. And 
and I can start to stamp on my envelope, decorate it. I can also put some decoration here on this side of that flap. That is actually what you can see once it's closed like this. So something what I will put here will be visible here. I'm now on a few minutes back uh, on my craft table. So I do have uh, stamped and glued together my envelopes. I do have some stamping uh, on the top here on the back flap and also something a little bit inside once it slides through this slot I will see a part of that stamping here I used also my uh, postmarks on each of these envelopes and I did use all kind of stamps from brand new collection and also from those old collections I do have here stamped also those uh, a side of cuts those little bit bit and pieces so I'm thinking I can place these strips under the slots I have created so always one strip here and maybe some strip here on the front maybe here or maybe here you know to do decoration from these and I also used medical tape this normal medical tape, I place it on, uh, this is backing paper from labels. I'm saving these papers because they do have non-sticky part where the label was before, the shipping label. Uh, it's like non-sticky, uh, sticky side. So I'm using it for placing my medical tape. And then on that medical tape, I did use the alcohol ink, this brownie color. And I did color it... Uh, the, the, the tape and I think it will look just lovely if fa, fa, fa. come on if I will use it on these envelopes I'm gonna get up a piece of that tape and maybe place it here like this just a part doesn't have to be glued all over just a part and it will immediately add a little bit of that vintage feel I'm gonna add a strip of this here right under that slot And as I do have always from one envelope where two of these offcuts, you know, from those sides. So one can be here and another one can be maybe here or here. I can make it like decoration on that envelope or I can place it here. Anywhere I want. No, that will be too many numbers. Maybe here. Yeah, maybe like this. But because here it's acetate piece, I'm gonna grab my uh, double-sided tape and glue it with double-sided tape on it like this so I think it really looks lovely this way I do have glued these stamped strips always one uh, under the slot and another one on the front of my envelope and I just want to show you how you can also use alcohol ink uh, to make it more grungy if you saw my uh, Instagram post with toilet paper rolls I know many of you love the look of these toilet paper roll uh, makes 
this is what I have created from toilet paper rolls I just shared with my patreon just you know a quick video with must make and this is what you can create I know uh, sometimes we are concerned about the thickness because toilet paper rolls are thick but uh, because here as you can see I'm taking bigger part of that thicker paper out and I'm replacing it with uh, thin acetate so it's not that thick it's actually thinner than many of my inserts many of my tucks it just look it just uh, looks kind of like sturdy but the look of these it's awesome they are very grungy and they do look amazing and it's just because I uh, used on many of them those darker ones I used alcohol ink so here you can see those envelopes I'm gonna pick few um maybe this one and one with the color which one this one with the color so i do have these two one has color inside as you can see and another one has color uh, on the top i'm gonna grab my non-sticky paper this is that non-sticky yeah this is that non-sticky and i'm gonna use that alcohol ink that um the brownie from octopus i found it on amazon and i really like it because it's like a really big bottle of alcohol ink and the color it's just stunning and with this i'm gonna go all over all of that envelope including paper I'm not gonna use it just on acetate i'm gonna use it also on that paper and with this i'm gonna color paper I used I'm gonna let this dry and I'm gonna move to this one which has uh, on the top the uh, the tea dyed part and I do have kind of like leftovers so I'm gonna try to just squeeze it all over of that paper And I will come back once it's all dry and here you can see how it looks like when it's uh, soaked with that alcohol ink here I used quite a lot of ink to get soaked through to this paper so it's visible from this side through to the acetate as well here I used just a little bit on that paper so it didn't soak through just with small bits and pieces with those dots here and here and it looks quite stunning so you can use also alcohol ink to ink your uh, ink your envelopes but uh, if you will don't use alcohol ink i do believe with distress ink and stamps your envelopes will looks amazing if you are able to use your sewing machine use your sewing machine i still can't manage to, to get here into that space because um i can't stand on my <laughs> i'm usually standing when i am sewing because uh, this it's not craft table it's like drawer so i can't push uh, put my feet underneath because there uh, is not space so i'm standing while i am sewing and i can't stand on my broken leg yet to be able you know to sew so so it will take a time so this is how my envelopes looks like i really love that look they look quite beautiful and vintage even that slot looks like it's supposed to be there and that it's vintage and those new stamps from tim holt they are really gorgeous there is so much to choose from 
Now these are my little lovely envelopes from 6x6 papers. They are a nice, spacious, as you can see, they can hold quite a lot, um, even they are very small. And the last one. So that's my sharing for today. My a little must make of little envelopes. Uh, I believe these could be beautiful inserts in journals. They could be also perfect for holding some uh, Halloween, uh, some Halloween goodies, especially if you will use alcohol ink, uh, darker alcohol ink on them. And then I'm going to finish those to the more grungy style. I'm going to take this archival alcohol ink uh, because distress ink will probably don't work properly on, on um, alcohol ink, I mean. But this archival ink will distress the edges to the dark nicely and it will stay there. And with all this, kind of like distressing by using uh, normal stamping ink you can manage to create really nice and grungy envelopes like this And that's all my sharing for today. I hope you did enjoy it and I hope you will try these envelopes. Uh, thank you so much for visiting me today and spending your time with me. If you like this uh, video, please give it a thumbs up and make some comment. It will help to grow my channel and it will help to share this video with other crafters. Thank you so much for that. Have a beautiful day. Take care of yourself and I will come back soon. Bye.